Hey there, everybody. This is Iron. I'm back with another new indie game. This one is called Pine. It was released pretty recently, and this one has actually been pretty popular. This is not quite as obscure as most of my games usually are, but it's just got such a cool premise, and I had the chance to review it, and I was like, yeah, man, I'll, I'll give that a look. I'm sure some of my viewers will be interested in this. So, um... We're gonna jump into the settings as we always do and just take a look at what options we have. So we can turn off rumble, screen shake, and auto aim. We've got some language options, French, Italian, German, Spanish, Brazilian, Portuguese, and Russian. Cool, a lot of options there. We've got, um, I can turn motion blur on, no thank you, I've learned my lesson about that stuff. Uh, borderless windows, what I've got on while I'm recording, quality. Let's see if we can handle fantastic. I hope that we can. For audio, I've turned the overall volume down just a little bit so that it's not uh, clipping or anything, but we've got separate uh, controls for music and sound, which is great, and we can remap the controls. So pretty much everything I would want to see, I see there. As far as I can tell, I can't think of anything else that we're going to need. So uh, good job on accessibility based on the settings alone. Let's start a new game. Uh, the premise of this game is that you're in a world where humans are not the dominant species, and it's different animal people have kind of uh, risen up and uh, are are in control of the world with their different animal people civilizations, which is uh, a sort of theme that I am a big fan of in general. I use a theme similar to that in my tabletop role-playing game and I play with my friends in real life out here in, in the meat space. Species won't like it if you place a trap right in front of their eyes. Interesting. So I, I, apparently what you have to do is you have to manage your relationship with different species, with different animal kingdoms. Here we go. Twirl bound. Congregate Publishing. Oh, goodness. My younger days. So many hours on Congregate playing Flash games. This is really beautiful, though. To start off, very beautiful. Oh, it's a little burp. Hello, birdie. Oh my goodness. We got some credits. It's good to get some credits. I'm gonna get some humans. Hello, humans. I also love that the humans um, do not seem to be based off of. They, they seem to be based off of uh, people of color. They're not. They're not white. <laughs> In so many games, the default is just white person, and it's very refreshing to have that not be the case here. I think that's our character right there. Looks like what I've seen. Hugh? Is that my name? I am ripped. I am Jack. Look at me. I look great. So here we go. We got standard controls, left stick. I am using a gamepad, by the way. Uh, I have a friend who played this game already, so I asked him... Uh, would he recommend gamepad or mouse and keyboard? He said he hadn't tried mouse and keyboard, but he assumed that it would not be good because he played it with gamepad. So, um, I've been called. There's a lot I want to do here, but let's just follow along with what, I, what they want us to do. I'm holding B to sprint. Ooh, I am fast. The camera is really fast as well. And one thing I didn't see in the options... Uh... Why for options? Here we go. I don't think I saw a sensitivity control. Now, the sensitivity is okay for me. Oh, here we go. Sensitivity slash remap. Okay, you can you can change the sensitivity. Cool. I just wanted to check and make sure that, that was an option. And it is. Awesome. I can handle the sensitivity at this level, uh, especially on the gamepad, but some people might not be able to, so it's great that that is remappable. Well done, creators of this game. Let's talk to ah, this. You. Talk to me. Oh, ah, you there you are. So we've got, it sounds like we've got some voice acting, but it's not English. Or maybe it's just like a similar sort of thing. I'm not sure if this is based on a real language or not, or if it is a real language or not. I didn't understand it, but we've got uh, the text here, so we're almost done with the preparations. Ilma and Edwin asked for some more resources from the treehouse. I would ask your brother, but I can't find him anywhere. That lazy so-and-so, I'm telling you. Even more resources. Yes, yes, not sure what exactly, but please go see him. Off you go. Yes, Marla, as you wish. So we've got, um... Got some quest markers on the screen. That's an accessible thing, but it can it can it can break the immersion a little bit. But uh, hey, what's up, dude? Right on time. So cool. I am dying to know. Somebody tell me, is that a real language or is it just sound very convincing? Because it sounds really cool. I wanted to call the treehouse done, but 
The rocks it stands on are so brittle, we wanted to consult with Gary, but he wouldn't listen. Could you get us more stiff rope and stuff cloth for some extra fortifications? Gary should be able to help you with the marwood and stiff rope, and I believe Yuyu was folding some stiff stuff cloth near the washing spot. <laughs> Gonna have to get used to these words. On it. Okay. So... I guess I'm going down even further, huh? This is such a beautiful world. You know, I am going to turn down the sensitivity a little bit. Because I'm worried um, that not having the control... Uh, here we go. It's the camera that I want to turn down a little bit. Let's see if that's... Let's see how that looks. Did that save? Yeah, that's saved. So this is a little bit on the slow side now, but I think that probably will look better for you folks at home. Wha or wherever you are watching this. Not necessarily at home. Uh, so it's not kind of twitching around so much. I don't want to cause motion sickness for anyone. You, I'm busy. Can I help you? Ilma and Awood need some more stiff rope to fortify the house. Even more, stiff rope doesn't grow on trees. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> I guess it does grow on trees. Trees is not stable enough, they say. Nonsense. Our houses are as strong as ever. <laughs> if they insist. I'm much too busy preparing for the ceremony, but you can use the marwood on the crate to make some stiff rope yourself. Tell them this should definitely do it. Can't wait for today's celebrations. Okay, so I guess there must be some crafting. I received an idea. These are concepts of items you can create yourself. Open your menu with start and go to the crafting tab to craft ideas when you have the required resources. Okay. I need to grab these resources here. Hold. Okay, got it. Uh, so. Goals. Equipment. Glossary. Crafting. Here we go. Stiff rope idea. Uh, yes. Hold X to create. Got it. Stuff is a little bit all over the place on the screen, but I'm sure once I get the hang of it, it will be, uh, pretty easy. We got down here. There's all kinds of stuff I want to look at, folks, but since I'm just doing a first look video here, I will uh, explore as much of the intended beginning story as I can. Hello? Hey, you. Hi, Luya. Do you have some more stuff cloth for the treehouse? Oof, I'm too busy with today's laundry, I'm afraid. Did anyone ever teach you how to make stuff cloth yourself? Perhaps you can craft it for Edwin and Ilma. Alright, I've got a new idea. Um. Crafting. Stuff cloth I need tomorrow, hay, and gravel moss. Gravel moss. What an idea. Okay. So I've got those. Crafting. Make one of these. Hold X. Did it. Awesome. Sweet. I guess I can head back now, right? Bring those resources back to the construction site. Oh, this is really a beautiful game. I am, uh, I'm liking this already. Oh, I love that I'm barefoot as well. Being barefoot is awesome. Be barefoot whenever you can, friends. That's my advice to you. All right, what's up? I got it. Go, Hugh. Thank you, Hugh. Let's hope this does the trick. What we'll have to do, our trees haven't been growing as fast as they should. So even Marwood will be in short supply soon. Hmm. And perhaps it's time to explore the lands below. We are not going to the out to find more. We all know that's not an option. Interesting. In any case, today is about celebrating the completion of this wonderful new treehouse. Let's wrap this up and have a ceremony. Hugh, I can't find your brother anywhere. Can you go get him to come to the ceremony? He's probably in his corner, drawing out all that nonsense. Go find my brother. Let's see. Quest markers down here. Is my brother the, the, the dude who was, uh... No, okay. It's further down. What are we gonna get here? I, I can't help it. I gotta pick this. I gotta pick up everything. Use Y to jump over obstacles. Cool. Oh, look at this little area. No wonder he's hanging out here, man. Come on. Look at my handsome brother. Hey, Hugh. Gary had me carry logs around all day, so I retreated for a bit. I think I just spotted another one of those white and slimy creatures below. If you squint your eyes hard enough... No thanks, I'm good. <laughs> uh, you should never look away. So much to explore and see. Well, not if it's up to Marla and Gary. Ugh, they're all concerned with... All they're concerned with is their treehouses and ceremonies. There must be more to the world than this, right? About that ceremony. Starting soon, they wanted me to come get you. <sighs> well, there's still some time. 
Remember that strange construction I found that I told you about? I think I have an idea on how to open it. I don't know, Mom. You know what Marla says about staying, straying too far from home. Ah, uh, come on. There's still some time before the ceremony. Meet me at the harvesting site whenever you're ready, and I'll show you. Oh, about to go get in some trouble. Let me just uh, pick up the stuff. Pick up whatever I can. It is very pretty down there. I'm with my brother. I want to go explore. Okay, where are we going? This way, down there. Slowly going further and further down the mountain. I am tempted to test and see what happens if I run over the edge. <laughs> I am just in the tutorial. Surely they won't penalize me too much. I do fall. Okay, that just brings me back up here. Okay. Now I know. At least they don't invisible wallet. That's good. Brother! I knew you'd be interested. Well, I'm doing this for you. We should quickly eat something before we go exploring. Grab some of the meager yam over there. <laughs> that will replenish your energy in no time. Alright. While adventuring, always keep an eye on your energy. Everything you do will deplete your energy little by little, so eating is vital to keep your efficiency. You can eat any food you find in the world to replete your energy. Pin one item to your pin slot. Select it for a quick bite by holding left bumper. Eating is done by pressing it quickly while in game. Interesting. Let me uh, pick some more of these. Okay, so hold left button to pin a food item. Uh, let's just pin it. Ha! I have a little snack whenever I feel like it. That's cool. I like it. Interact. Alright, let's go see what we can find. We'll be back before Marla has even turned her ancient head. <laughs> Last one there has to eat two bowls of Marla's stew. Oh, I'm locked in. Okay. We got cutscene, I guess. Oh, no we don't. Where are we going? Where Where did he go? I'm not sure where I need to go now. Down somewhere. How do I go a down? Oh, okay. There's a little path over here. I'm guessing this is it then. Oh, what was it? B to run. B to sprint. It's no fair. My camera was locked and I couldn't move while you got ahead of me. Alright, here it is. I cleared away some of the bushes and found that round thing hanging there. And I figured we'd probably have to hit it with something, but throwing didn't do the trick. So behold, I made this slingshot. I'll let you do the honors. Let's see what happens. Time to learn combat, I guess. You have both a melee and a ranged weapon slot at all times. Swap between the two using X. Left trigger to draw your ranged weapon. Right trigger to release it. Okay. Left trigger. Ah. You have to hold both triggers while you're aiming like that. <laughs> I don't think I need to translate that. <laughs> Let's see what we'll find. I'm on wait. Oh no, my idiot brother. I'm telling him he's gonna get in trouble. We're both gonna be in trouble. Something's gonna go wrong. I just know it. Okay. Explore the cavern with a mom. Well, where did he go? Is he down here? Yep, there he is. Hey, yo, and you. Check it out, Hugh. This looks like a real adventuring tool. There's another one. You should grab it. Yeah, all right. Looks like I got my, uh... Oh, I gotta hold it down. Old Pinewood Sword. Swing it a few times, you look really powerful. Right trigger. There we go. Trigger for attack. And if you hold it behind your head for a bit and then release, you do a much heavier attack. I missed! <laughs> and we could kick in between attacks, and those slimy white creatures won't have anything against us. What if we combine dashes with swings? I'm never- oh, <laughs> I'm never gonna remember all this. This is worse than Dark Souls. Endless possibilities. I'm not sure if I did that properly. Check this one out. Ah, oh, you idiot. Oh no. 
Brother of mine, what have you done? Can I, um... Yeah. Pick up some rope. Which presumably I will need for something eventually. What did you do? Mom, are you alright? Fine, I lost my balance. Whoops. That was exciting, but now I'll need to get out of here. Can you see any way out? There's a wooden door with a small note next to it. It says, left, left, right. Any yeah, ideas? Let's see what I can find. I have a guess. <laughs> Alright, let the torch- oh, look at the shadows. Good shadows, I like it. Mom, can you hear me? Loud and clear. I'm blocked from this side too, what was it you said again? Mm. Left, left, right. Yeah, I got it, I got it. I know how to puzzle games. Uh, X to change. So we need, uh, oh, I can't reach it. Here we go. Left. Left. I guess I got infinite ammo. Right. It worked! Let's see if I can open yours now. Yeah. Oh, I guess he did. <laughs> hey, brother. Phew, glad we get out of there. What do you say, I wanna go a bit further? I don't know, Mom. That was pretty close. We're both still here, right? Come on, let's eat some food if you have any. We can get going. Alright. That's a good point. I'm supposed to remember to keep an eye on my food, right? Yeah. There we go. Energized. Find a mom. What was his room like? It says left, left, right. Okay, he wasn't lying. Head down here, where he definitely is going to be. I don't know if lighting these actually does anything. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to do some parkour here. This is beautiful, look at this! Cutscene. I do notice in the bottom left you can hold A to skip, and I appreciate that. Too many games have unskippable cutscenes. Check this out, Hugh. Those figures look like humans. And that tall one, whoa. He must be an adventurer who came from the out. And he seems to have left them again at some point. Could they be the humans of our cliff, our ancestors? That can't be true. We have never been in the out, right? Well, who else would have made this drawing? It looks like they closed off this cave behind them. Don't you get what this means, Hugh? It means humans were in the out at some point. We can return there someday. There must be more to those lands than the scary creatures we're told of, right? We should tell Marla what we found. And we should hurry to the ceremony, I think. You go ahead. I want to stare at this for a bit longer. I'll be right with you. Oh, brother. I have bad feelings about this. Can I go up here? I have to, like, uh, run and jump? That was badly done, Ira. <laughs> is it just a regular jump? How big is my jump? Oh. Oh, I don't have to jump. <gasps> There's a rope right there. I didn't even notice that. You can tell that I don't... Why to jump is not, uh... Not what I'm used to. I'll tell you what. No? Okay, it is just a decoration. Can't walk across the rope. Why to jump and B to run. So I can't run and jump, really. There we go. Presumably this loops around, right? And lets me back out. Oh no. There's just some stuff up here. Bigger. I will eventually... Soft glass. Uh, I will eventually get used to these controls. Common wheat. Is that it? I guess so. Alright, I'm out. Is there fall damage? Nope. <laughs> Man, but do I have bad feelings about leaving my brother here, though. I'll tell you what. He's gonna get into some sort of trouble, I just guarantee it. And I'm gonna have to, like, go rescue him or something, right? He's gonna get me trapped out there in the out. Uh-oh. Busted! Oh, there he is. <laughs> you are incorrigible, Amam. But taking Young Hugh with you... Mother knows what could have happened in there. 
You know you should never leave the perimeter. Sorry, Marla. But we discovered that we... I have no interest in whatever nonsense you found. You are very well aware that this was off-limits and that we should stay inside the village like we always had. That's exact- Now get back to the village, you are already late for the ceremony. Everyone is waiting for you two. Oh, shucks. You are right, little brother. She sure wasn't happy about that. We really do have to tell her about what we saw, though. Unless she maybe already knows, she's been here much longer than we have. Only one way to find out, but first, let's hurry to the ceremony. Sprint! Oop, don't sprint over the edge, though. Does sprinting use up energy? Maybe I shouldn't sprint. <laughs> Maybe I should conserve my energy. Oh, here we go. Ksopovo! <laughs> All right, now that we're all finally here, the ceremony can officially begin. Thank you, Marla. As a tradition, I'd like to thank everyone for their efforts. It took a bit more work and resources than usual, but we did it again. Our new house stands tall and strong. We shall continue to expand our village. Our next house shall stand right next to this one and will be even bigger and more beautiful. I would now like to call forth Ilma and Khan to officially claim this treehouse as their own. And after that, we feast. We got a young couple here, looks like. Yay! <laughs> Time for stew sounds good to me. I love stew. I love good veggie stew. Mm. Some beans in there. Mushrooms. <laughs> I think I'll throw up if I smell another bowl of that dry stew of hers. Dry stew? How can stew be dry, Mom? That's an oxymoron. I don't see why Gary's so obsessed with it. It's almost like he wants the ceremonies just for the stew. <laughs> he sure eats a lot of it. Would you look at that? Another round wooden treehouse. Aren't we creative? I think they're beautiful, for the record. A oh, mom. Mother forbid trying anything new for a change. I understand. If I ever become chief, we definitely try something new. Uh oh. Ominous. <gasps> oh. Oh, dag. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's, that's bad. Did you guys see that? Oh! <gasps> oh, no. Oh my gosh. What is, what do we see in here? <laughs> I love this. Oh goodness. Something smelling me with a snout of some sort. Gross. <laughs> How unexpected. Hello. Mm. Ha! You're like a teddy bear. <laughs> a bearded teddy bear. You come from above, have you not? How come you speak the same language as me? It's suspicious. I always did have a hunch something must have been brewing up on that cliff. Never did I dare to imagine it would be humans. Dangerous place, that cliff. Here we call it the unstable cliffs, for good reason. I can imagine the shock, fella, but you're not dreaming. Both of us might be trapped. Follow me. Okay. Teddy bear man. Uh, what? Where'd you go? Where am I following you to? Where'd you go? Oh, this way, I guess. You know I gotta pick everything up. My gamer instincts are taking over. Here I am. Rocky like a hurricane. 
Had the bad luck of being here when that rumbling started. Uh, I'm sorry, but who are you? The name is Oth, one of the Tamas. We travel, we study, we practice politics, and sometimes we are stuck. <laughs> I need to get this bridge fixed to get my Alpafent back up there. <laughs> so here's a suggestion. You help me get some more wooden stiff rope for the bridge and some food for my Alpafent as she's hungry, and I'll get you something for that blockade as I think that's going to be your way up. It looks pretty sturdy, but I recently invented a thing just for that. Okay. How much, uh, how much wood do you need? How much, uh... I'll just pick up whatever I see, shall I? Is it all gonna be really obvious? Probably, huh? That'll probably be the food. Carrot. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like this naming things almost the normal English names for them. I can't decide if it's charming or annoying. For now, I'm gonna go with charming. Let's lean positive. Let's, uh... Let's try to look at the bright side of things. I suppose it can be both charming and annoying, right? Why not? Uh, I need one, one more stiff rope. Oh, wait. Stiff rope. I can make stiff rope. Uh, stiff rope. Hold create. Did that. Yes. Got everything I need. There you go, dude. There we go. Neither of us are strong enough to actually build this, but I'll find someone who can. Here's something to get you inside that cave. It's called an explosive keg, and it's not subtle. <laughs> well, that's that's uh, normal English right there. Hit it with some projectile, and it'll blow right up. Be careful with it. Yeah, I got it. Use a keg to enter the cavern. On it. And I'll just head right back up to my family, and that'll be the end of the story, I'm sure. Can deploy certain items into the world using left bobber. Explosive keg can be detonated by shooting at it. So. This. Pin it. That there. <coughs> Two triggers. Kablooey. Uh, that definitely just hit me in the head. In we go. I'll be back home in no time. Anyway, back to the unstable cliff. So it looks like there's gonna be some platforming involved. Um, this looks like an elevator. Okay. I don't know if lighting these torches actually does anything, but... Let's do it anyway. It's pretty, right? What's this? It's beautiful. It's magnificent. Well, it doesn't seem too friendly. Really? Why not? I don't see anything unfriendly about it. I wish your mom was here. He would know what to do. I'll have to fight it. Do I have to fight it? The target's close enough you can use R3. Okay, R3 is when you press the stick in, right? I hate it when games don't explain that. They just assume everyone knows how all this stuff works. Can I just shoot it in the butt? Right in the butt. I don't think it's too happy. Whoa! You got a ranged weapon there, buddy! I'm gonna go up and bop it in the face. Whoa! I have like a roll out of the way kind of thing that I can do. Okay. I'll just pick up your thighs while you die screaming. Oh my gosh. That's a little gruesome. Um, oh, I need to put my food back on the thing. And wait. There we go. Eat. Cool. Oof. Combat is a bit rough. Oh, I can't get anything out of this stuff? Dang. Oops. That's the one, right? How do I, uh... How do I make this work? Do I shoot it? Nope. 
Looks like you should just be able to bop it. Jump on top of it? Does not help. What am I missing? I don't think I'm missing anything. Wait. Okay. Does this want to be set on fire? Ah. Got it. This up. Am I going to have to fight more stuff? I guess I probably am, huh? Oh. This is where me and my brother were before. Well, this is... Dull rock. If I can get free stuff, I'll take the free stuff, right? Cool, so I'm back up. That's it. I win. I win the game. I beat it. You all saw it. <laughs> you all saw that I'm the winner. I'm gonna go share my story with my brother. We're all gonna live happily ever after forever. The end. No more food for me? Wait, I see something up there. Ooh, a little... A little bit of, uh... Oh yeah, there is more food up here. Definitely want to take as much food as I can. Some more down here. Again, it's those gamer instincts. Can't not take everything, right? Let's get back up to the village. Where everything's gonna be fine. Don't worry about all these trees in the ground. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be great. Hey everyone, I'm back, and everything is good. What's up? Oh, Mother's Mercy, you're safe. We thought we lost you too for a moment. What do you mean too? What do you mean, uh... What do you mean by that? Are you hurt? How did you get back? Did you fall all the way to the out? I'm fine, my head hurts a bit. But I met this wondrous creature, Oth. He lives in the out. I feared as much. Did it hurt you? Were you attacked? Well, yes, but not by the teddy bear. <laughs> no, no, it was very kind. He helped me to get back here. He also knew about the bad state these cliffs are in. Where's the mom? I have to tell him about what happened. Where is he? I'm sure, I mean, uh, he must be right around here somewhere, right? Right? Hey guys, right? Hey, hey, where's, um... Where's my brother? You? Yeah, no, don't, whatever you need to tell me, you can wait. Just, uh, I'm just gonna go talk to your mom real quick first. <laughs> Collapse rock. Terrible <laughs> havoc. Luya, Edwin, and Iam did not survive. And neither did he, Hugh. You've gotta be kidding me. I did not see this coming. And he must have gotten away, right? He jumped away? He must be down there. We found him here. He must have pushed you away from the danger. We are so sorry. I don't believe you. He must be around. A mom is strong. Find a mom at his lookout. <laughs> Man, this is heartbreaking. Oh, it was down here, right? Yeah. This is rough. This is pretty rough. It's harsh. Maybe harsher than necessary. Or maybe not, I don't know. Probably well, we gotta be sad. He's here, right? He's here? This is his map. He was gonna map the whole world. I don't think he's here, guys. Sad music. I guess I'm gonna take it upon myself to map the whole world. Save my cliffside village and my people. You. Everyone in this town is absolutely ripped. Hugh, please come back to town. You know, we know what you're going through. No, you don't. I'm a teenager, you never understand. We have to start rebuilding. We will need everyone's help in that. A mom would have helped too. Oh, that's low. No, a mom would have made sure we would find a better place to live in these cliffs. Hugh, there is no other place to live. The out is not an option. It never has been. That's not true. We told you, humans were in the out before. Do not believe those nonsense drawings you see. We are too weak to simply walk into the outskirts. Please come back to the square, Hugh. We will figure it out. Yeah, I feel like I'm probably gonna not do that, though. I got a mission. I'm a 
teenager, and I know better than you, because I'm young enough to take risks. There's some trees on fire out there, and I know our attention hasn't been brought to that yet, but I'm finding it very upsetting. Yeah, another cutscene. Yeah, I think Hugh's leaving. It is beautiful here, but it is also falling apart, and that's bad. Right? Let's go. On a mission to explore the world and save my people. Awesome. A nose for adventure. First tumble steps. Lots of quests. Cool. Gotta find off again. Now have a mom's map. Use back to open and to close it. Oh yeah, look at that. Your next goal is an exploration objective. Can be found somewhere inside the marked area. Cool. Um, friends. This is very cool and I uh, could very easily keep going. But we have definitely gone over the usual time limit for, uh, for these videos. So I'm gonna have to call this one an end for my first look. Uh, I like it so far. I feel like the combat is gonna be really clumsy. But I have heard that you don't necessarily actually have to fight very much. You can usually run away from combat if you want to, or find other means of dealing with things. So there's that at least. Um, but it's a beautiful game. Controls are pretty, pretty good. I mean... I don't really have any criticisms. I'm very impressed by the accessibility options. The options menu there, everything I would want to see is there. And that's great. So yeah, um, this is this is Pine. It's out now. If you haven't heard of it, now you have heard of it and you want to give it a try, you can find this uh, on Steam. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if this isn't your cup of tea and you don't like this video, and you don't like this game at all, don't worry, my friends, uh, because I'll be back soon with another new indie game. And you never know, folks, because that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thank you so much for watching this one, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey there, everybody. I hope you enjoy this little first look at Pine. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing this one, and I'm definitely playing more. And actually, I think I might stream this one. I've started streaming on Twitch, finally. I've finally been persuaded to stream on Twitch. Uh, I don't have a schedule yet, but I'm announcing my streams on Twitter and on Discord, and uh, I'll, I'll set a schedule fairly soon and get that done. Uh, so I might stream some Pine. Let me know if you, if you want to see that. So, what? A bedhead? Patrons, why didn't you tell me?